welcome back guys hope you're doing great and today's in this video i'm going to demonstrate about the project called the full stack resume builder which allows the user to uh, build their own resume and they can download it as a pdf or png or jpg or svg whatever the file formats they need they can able to download by customizing their own template well this project is completely beginner friendly where uh, it helps the beginners to enhance their skills into pro level so don't worry guys even if you haven't built any application before i got your back in this project we're going to build every single features and functionalities completely from the ground by using react.js and its core features and functionalities so i'm going to teach you every single features and functionalities how to work with your react and how to create a reusable component how to create a material ui by using tailwind css and how to work with the google firebase database and store it and how to create uh, the react query but we can able to query ourselves with our data so we can share our data throughout the all the components to maintain our state management library right so after countless hours of coding i finally finished this project and you can able to follow this project along with me by clicking the link in the description below so you can have the live project in your hand so I noticed that almost 90% of the viewers are haven't subscribed yet. So please hit the subscribe and like button. So that will really encourage me to come up with a more different projects. So if you wish to have this project for yourself, so you can click the link in the description below and you can download this project for yourself or you can stay tuned until this video is uploaded in our channel. So don't worry, this video will be uploaded soon as soon as possible. Well, so over here you can see we having this nice UI okay so which is the same website only i opened it in a two different tabs so this is the admin and this is the client portal so here you can see we have the different different templates when the user can able to choose the different templates and have a look how it's having a how it's designed and whether they want to add it collections or whether they wish to add it to the favorites how many of them like this template and other similar templates and if you wish to what are the keywords that use for this template and edit this template you can edit this template for your own right so not every single user are allowed to add a new template right so we should have some admin privileges so over here so this is my admin account so where i can able to add the admin template i can add my own a new template but if you are a user so you can log in by using two different authentication provider provided by the firebase authentication so we are using the google and the github so in this case i'm going to use the google so let me sign in with my different account which i not added as a um what is it uh, the admin account which i not added as an admin account so let me use that account so let me say it. so let me log in with that account so oh my goodness just give me a minute all right so after the two-factor authentication so i finally logged in with my gmail account so but here you can see this user doesn't have the privilege to add a new template because he's an user so he doesn't have the privilege to add a new template or but as an admin i can able to add a new template over here right so if i click this add new template so that will takes me to the place where i can able to add a new template so the only thing over here is so whenever you're trying to create a new template you need to create a new local file which going to have the complete code of the template right so for instance right now we need to create a new file name called template 3 you need to create the exact same thing then only the entire data what we are trying to add over here will be mapped with that file right so over here for instance anyway we don't have that complete code for the template 3 so but anyway we'll try to add a new template over here professional resume or something so click this i can able to choose the template by myself and this will be completely uploaded in our server and giving you the nice progress bar and you can see we having this nice toast animation which which is completely used for our alert purpose and you can able to delete this image even if you don't want if you wish to upload another you can delete it and you can push it again so if i click this delete option that will be removed from the server and if i click again i can upload the another different set of template image to the cloud all right so now we can see this image is uploaded and it will be displayed over here so we have a set of keywords over here so you can choose the set of keywords these are the keywords which is really responsible for searching the templates which we are you going to use for a search features over here 
so if I can choose the different sets of keywords which going to be I can choose which template I want and once I hit the save button so that will be saved to our cloud and immediately refreshed and it will be displayed over here so if I click this template So if I click this any of this template, so uh, you can able to delete any all the features. If I don't want this template completely, I can delete this. So if I click this home option, so if I go to the home screen, I can able to see the template over here. And this search feature is completely functional. So if I wish to search for UI developer or something, you can see it will filter out that keyword completely and it will display that the data which matching that specific term. For instance, if I search for developer, so this these are the developer which is comes these are the designs which comes under for the developer so if you want to search you can use that search option or you can use the filter options which is listed out over here these are the keywords so for instance if i use search for ui designer you can see it's giving the data which matches that pattern if i search for product manager you can see so these filtering options are working perfectly and smoothly and when I hover it you can see I can able to add to the collections or I can mark it as a favorite one so you can see right now this is not added as a, in our collection and this is not marked as a favorite one. <coughs> So if I want to add this as a favorite or add to my collections, all I have to do is to click this option. So that will be added to the collection and instantly it will change its color and it's showing the text as added to the collection. <coughs> so if you want to add this to your favorites, so all I have to do is to click this option. So that will add it to your favorites. So if you wish to remove again, just click it back. So that will be removed from your database. And every time whenever you're making some changes, the toast notification will alert the user. So what exactly it's happening, right? So if I click this template, so you can see we have the complete information about the template, the image and the, you can able to edit this template and how many of them like the template. And it's, it gives you whether you want to remove because this options allow the user to add into the collections and the favorites again over here just the same functionality what we've seen in the home screen and these are the similar post which is displaying over here right so if i want to edit this template all i have to do is to click this edit template so that will load the template so this template which is altered and i already saved it in the cloud you can see it's having my photo and it's already saved it in the uh, in the cloud right for instance let's say if i delete this template over here from the storage let me delete this completely let me delete it all right so now it's deleted so if i refresh this all right so now this is how the initial template looks like so if the user wants to edit it he can click edit option and he can literally customize each and every single part over here including changing the image changing the name and everything for instance let's say this change the name as a trivial Ravi youtuber and freelancer uh, and let's say I'm changing my major MCA and contact number email please do all those things for instance if I change this to youtuber and over here developer or something and if you wish to delete or uh, bring one more thing i can simply add one more and i can simply if i wish to delete it i can delete it just like the same way if i wish to add one more skill i can able to add one more skill or if i want to delete it i can simply delete that skill so let me change the skill to reactors like let's the uh, the percentage of our knowledge is going to be 90 and you can see that it's adjusting the percentage of the progress bar perfectly and smoothly by using this nice transitions and effects everything and the skill 3 it's going to be let's say the merge stack and let's give it as 80 not that much great 80 and firebase we can give it as 75 and css or something we can give it as 75 itself so these are the details and if I wish to change my image so click this image and you can choose the image all by yourself so all I have to do is to go and choose my image so if I click this so that will be changed and if I wish to change it again all I have to do is to delete it and upload it re-upload a different image of yourself right so let me choose this one 
so let's say we have we are finished and all i have to do is to click this edit option again and again the entire stuff will be changed now the user can't able to edit any of this information unless he click this edit option so if you want to save this image directly in the cloud so or if you directly want to download this image as a pdf or png you can directly download or if you wish to save this so you don't have to edit every single time whenever you're coming back and logging into our account so all i have to do is to click the save option so this will take a few minutes delay i don't know what uh, taking that delay but this will be definitely saved mm, what's happening if i click this save option Mm. okay so that is giving an error because the file size it's it's huge so that's the reason it's giving that error so if i click this mm, yeah again it's showing the same issue so uh let me keep the file size as 25 kb so now let's try to up save this detail so this should push the detail into the cloud here we go so now the detail is saved inside our cloud so now if the user again if they say the user is trying to uh, edit the same template so we need to bring back all these details and we need to display it in the uh, respective place as it is right so let me say if i refresh this you can see even though if i refreshed it it's bringing back the details and it's keeping the details exactly the same so Due to that so you don't have to edit your entire template again and again so even if you're getting back and if i come back to click the same template if i click this edit template see it will fetch the details from the cloud and it will display it over here so if you wish to download or any of this format let's say if i click download png you can see sorry pdf if i click this you can see that is downloaded entirely as a pdf so if I want to download this as an SVG, I can download it as an SVG file. You can see that's an SVG file. So you can download SVG or PNG or whatever the file format you wish, you can download it completely from here. So uh, let's say you save this, like we, we already like this and we already added to our collection. So where I can go and see those collections and everything, all you have to do is to go to your my account and there you can see the collections of your images. What are the, the different sets of uh, things that you added as in your collection? So let's say if I add this one also, all I have to do is to add to collection. So that will be added. And all I have to do is to go to my account, my account, account and here we go so that is added in our collections and if i click my resumes and you can see this is the resume that we built it and you can see it's it's exactly capture the details what exactly we edited over there and it's create the image of it and it's giving it over here right so let's say if i was to uh, change some of the contents over here so let's say if i'm deleting this image i don't want that so let's go here and edit that same template again edit this and let's click edit option i don't need this template so the image so if i click save again so that should save the details all right so now if i get back to my profile and if i wish to see my resumes which i created and here we go you can see that image is changed so every time whenever you're trying to save your resume so that is capturing that entire um, uh, that container and it's generating an image and it's uploading that image in our cloud so that we can able to display it over here right how cool it is right so this kinds of tips and tricks that we are going to learn everything completely from the ground by ourselves so please stay tuned for this tutorial and it will be up, uh, uploaded soon if you wish to have this complete project for yourself click the link in the description below and you can have this complete project for yourself right so i hope you guys are so excited about this project and without wasting your time and uh, making you guys to wait further long i'm gonna upload this project as soon as is possible because currently the recording is going on this project will be uploaded as soon as is possible so let me know what you are thinking and what is your opinion about this project please drop it in the comment section and please hit the subscribe and like button so that will really encourage me to come up with the more different projects